One, two, one, two, uh, uh, uh. Getting into the analytics of, of jazz, it was always important for me to always stay in tune with the emotion of it, like what's happening feel-wise, you know, get the feeling of it, understand what the feeling of it, and then analyze it as opposed to analyze first and then try to feel it later. I've met many a bass player who will play an open E on a C minor seven chord. Yeah, but, but the feel was good. Yeah, but the notes are wrong. You know, it's just like, you can't do that. Going to a lot of rhythm and blues shows, you know, seeing the Isley Brothers and Wilson Pickett and Glass Knight and the Pip, Smokey Robinson, Dion Warwick, and then of course once I saw James Brown, <laughs> all over, ruined for life. a piano in the house that I grew up in. We had an upright piano and, and my mother played some classical music. Uh, but in terms of jazz piano playing, uh, it was Joey D. Francesco who really kind of kicked me off and showed me my first voicings. talking about sound development, talking about using the bow, talking about putting together bass lines, talking about transcribing solos, all kinds of stuff. Hey, this is Christian McBride, and this is Fundamentals of Jazz, Bass, and Beyond. <laughs>